and we back for another soul food dinner tonight we are making some smothered pork chops and we gonna simmer it down in our crock pot with some onion gravy so them pork chops can get nice and tender if you are new to our channel welcome you have definitely come to the right spot we gonna treat you good feed you good and give you recipes every week that you and your family will love so if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to our channel and like this video y'all we want everybody on youtube to know how easy it is to make these recipes and how you enjoyed it all right so these are the nice big juicy pork chops that we're going to be using today and these have the bone in y'all know we love the bone in pork chops because they have the best flavor so i got the pork chops nice and rinsed off and this was a big pack of pork chops this was nine pieces of pork chops great for a family because you're gonna have some for tonight and some for leftover for tomorrow and that's what you want because we don't got time to be cooking every night okay just cook one good meal and then there you go now when i am cooking any type of pork whether it's ribs or even chicken i do like to put some mustard on the bottom it just gives it that extra little taste it's really good don't knock it until you try it we're gonna go in with some onion powder and we're not gonna overly season these pork chops because pork already has a salt base to it and then the gravy that we're going to simmer these pork chops in has salt in it as well so this is some adobo and then this is some complete seasoning that I have. We're just going to go ahead and throw that in there too because I'm tired of looking at this little bottle with this little bit in here. Y'all know how it is when you try to get rid of certain seasonings that's been sitting in the way. And you got to make room for, you know, to buy some new ones. Just go ahead and throw it in stuff like this. Now, if you haven't watched our air fryer lemon pepper wings, I was standing over there trying to shake it out with the little shaker. But we don't got time for that, y'all. We're just going to throw that parsley in there and be done with it. You'll be in here shaking all day, going day, shake your life away. And because we're going to fry these pork chops and I'm going to put that flour on here, I'm just going to add just a touch of salt to make sure that flavor come through. Now at our house over here, we love some massages. And with these massages, you wanna make sure all that seasoning get in that meat and through the crevices. You know how to do it. If you don't believe us, ask our subscribers. They know about them good back rubs and good rub downs. We wanna make sure our grease is clean. This is some clean grease, but you can see it's like some particles in there. Anytime you're frying up something, you want to make sure you start out with clean grease because those little bits is going to get all over your food and you already want that. So what we do is take our little grease strainer right here and then, you know, just drain off everything in the pan. And then all you're left with is these particles in the strainer. So that's a quick tip for y'all. We're going to be giving away a lot of tips in this video. So make sure y'all watch to the end. So we're going to go ahead and cut our pan on, on a medium high heat because it's not a lot of grease in here and you don't need a lot of grease. We just need just enough to be able to drop our pork chops in there and fry it up. You don't want the grease to be covering the whole pan of pork chops, okay? Now another thing that you can do is when you finish with your seasonings, you don't have to throw these bottles away. So if you're into making your own seasonings or your own blends, definitely keep these little bottles because you still pay for it it's already the container and the size that you need it and you can know what it is you know based on the top you know you can just wash this off get a brillo pad and this will come right off that little sticky part that's another quick tip for y'all i told you these tips gonna be coming left and right today left and right here's the flower if you're new to our channel one thing that i love to do when I'm frying any type of food or like burgers or just anything that you're going to be cooking in batches. I like to do a test piece. So I'm trying to find like the smallest piece of meat that we can just fry up real quick. The one thing you don't want to do when frying any type of food or like if you're making burgers, something in batches is to season it all and then make the whole batch and then go back and taste it and like, dang, I needed to add something. It's kind of hard to go back and season it. It's like grits. Y'all know when cooking grits, if you don't add that salt in the beginning, you can't go back and add that salt in the end because it's not going to taste the same. So if you do like a test piece right here, 
cook it and then if you need to add something then you can correct these over here before you cook everything and then you're like okay let me add this why it's still hot it still doesn't sink all the way into the meat so do this little test piece first and you'll be good to go all right so you hear that sizzle from the grease that means it's nice and hot now we on tip number three y'all are y'all keeping that when you drop your meat in the grease anytime you frying it don't touch it right away just let it sit there and get that nice crust on it and then flip it i tell y'all all the time don't come in this kitchen when you're hungry okay that's the worst time to cook and that's the worst time to shop is when you're hungry because you just pick up anything and then you just do anything be patient <laughs> It's still piping hot, but you see it's done all the way through. Okay, so this is perfect. I don't want to add anything else because I can taste all the flavors in it. And then the gravy that I'm going to use is nice and flavored also. So once you get that nice little kick to your pork chops and you got a nice little flavor to it, that's all you need. Don't overdo it. Don't over salt it. Don't over season it. Because once we got our pork chops in the gravy mix, if you want to add a little bit of something, something there, then you have room to do it. So now that we know our seasoning is good, and that's nothing better than know that you season it good on the first try, y'all. Okay? That's right. Your skills getting better. They getting better. <laughs> Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Like, hey, I only had to season it one time and I got it. And you're doing your happy dance. That's what it's all about, y'all. Have fun in the kitchen. And then don't make a mess with your flour. You know, you the type of person that's in the kitchen and you flouring stuff up. And you be having flour all over the dang on place. You know, try to make less of a mess. So whoever got to wash the dishes or clean up, they don't got to do too much. And I'm just going to do about three at a time just to make sure they fry comfortably. You don't want to overcrowd the pan because then that's going to bring the temperature down. So this fit as many in your pan but not overcrowding the pan. So let's take a little intermission real quick, real quick while the pork chops are frying because I want to get y'all a pan okay so we do put out a lot of short videos and we put out a lot of longer videos too so i want to know what's your favorite now when we do the longer style videos that's more like a personal experience with y'all so y'all can come into our kitchen okay so think about it like your family or friend and they tell you to, yeah come on over for dinner we're gonna be ready to eat at five o'clock but you know that when you get over there and nothing gonna be ready at five o'clock okay but you come and you there at five o'clock and then you get there you looking like um okay where's the food at it's not the ready right <laughs> so then you're like okay well what you need me to help with you know you need me to help with this i can help you with that i can do this <clears throat> to try to speed the dinner along but then it's okay when the dinner's not ready because you chit chatting you talking you having fun in the kitchen so it's, it's all right it's all right you have that one-on-one -on -one time with your family and friend, you're bonding. And that's what we want to do with y'all. We want to bond with you. We want to talk to you. We want to comment with you. So make sure you like these videos so more people can see them. So we can all talk. So when we do our premieres and when we do our lives, y'all, just know that we in the kitchen trying to get it together for you to enjoy these recipes and conversate with us. All right? So when y'all see us, like, yeah, I'm going to roll in with the fam dinner tonight. And we're going to be in the kitchen having fun and cutting up with the fam, okay? But what y'all want to help with tonight? Y'all want to help out, you know, we're going to make some rice. And we're going to make some string beans. But I just wanted to let y'all know that we appreciate you. We appreciate your comments, your likes, your shares. And, you know, just come on in our kitchen and we're going to get cooking. All right, back to work, y'all. So now we're going to go ahead and pull out the crock pot. Here go our ninja crock pot that we always use. I got my onions already in here sliced up. I had to snatch daddy out the kitchen because he took some of my onions for his sandwich. Okay, what do you do that at? We're going to add a little bit of oil from our grease, from our pork chops. You know? 
and you don't need a lot because you don't want this gravy to be greasy we're just going to add just a little bit just to get these onions going and that's all you need that's one good thing about this crock pot it's like a stove and a crock pot all in one so it's perfect all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this stove top up to high heat so we can go ahead and get these onions going oh my god i am so slow <laughs> i just had a slow moment y'all know i was in that grocery store looking for pork gravy up and down couldn't find it and then i end up picking up turkey gravy what am i doing like seriously and i swear i just realized this just now oh my god i picked up two turkey gravies what in the heck so we just gonna have some turkey gravy with pork chops but it's okay y'all it's okay it's still gravy we're gonna make it work just know when you go to the store get the pork gravy and not the turkey gravy that's what i was thinking in my head was these dang on turkey wings but we're not making turkey wings y'all we're making smothered pork chops why did i do this <sighs> y'all cooking in the kitchen with us so one pack of this makes one cup and then clearly you in the store like yes i'm picking up the right thing looking right at it and i had my glasses on so it wasn't like i can use the excuse like i ain't have my glasses on today we're gonna make it work gravy is gravy we just gonna have a little bit of turkey pork flavor it's okay that's still good <laughs> So I'm going to add two cups of water to this. Go ahead and stir these onions up just a little bit. And the vegetable for tonight is some good old green beans. Y'all said y'all was going to help with these, right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start these now because they are going to take a little second to cook down. And I bought some bacon to add some bacon fat to these green beans. But it's late and I just fried those pork chops. So this grease right here is just as good. It's still pork related. So we're just going to add some of that. And that's going to give it a nice little flavor to these green beans after they cook down. And then we're going to season them with some onion powder. And who puts potatoes in their green beans? I always say I want to do it, but I never do it. But it's so good. A little bit of adobo. Some fresh pepper. And if you use the canned green beans, you can do it the same way. Just going to add a little bit of water just so they can you know steam and just give them a little stir and we just gonna let these chill out for a little bit and then you know by the time these pork chops is done in this crock pot these will be nice and good and just put the top on it and then boom there we go all right so this is two cups of water and two cups of sauce now i know it don't look like a lot it's really not but we really just want this for the flavor i'm just going to start these pork chops off with this now if you need to add some more then we can just you know adjust it as we go but i don't want to make the sauce too thick and i don't want it to be too thin so we're going to start it off with this mixture first and then see what we need to do later all right so now that we got that mixing good we're going to come back over here to our onions it don't look like a lot at all. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil first. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our pork chops. And then I forgot to mention that this is some roasted garlic. Daddy just made this in the air fryer. And it is so good. If y'all never had roasted garlic before, y'all have to try it. It's so sweet and delicious. And you can just pop it out. So I'm not even going to chop it. I'm just going to leave it whole just like that. So, in case someone gets that special surprise, y'all, that little piece of special surprise be so good of that roasted garlic. And I just tasted the uh, gravy. So, it's even though it's the turkey gravy, it still got a lot of flavor to it. So, I'm not going to stress about it. All right. So, we're going to put that on our slow cooker setting now. We can take this off for the stove top because it's already good to go. And then, I'm going to show you the pork chops. So here go the pork chops. They just been, you know, marinating and sitting to the side, just ready to go into the pot. They about to get a nice, good old bath into this gravy. But we just gonna put them in one at a time. And then by me putting them in the crock pot, it's gonna have more time to just sit and just simmer. You can do this in the stove as well. I thought about doing that at first, putting these in the stove in my cast iron pan but then i thought about it i was like mm, let me just marinate it in the crock pot that way it can spend more time and it's not too hot again we're not really trying to make a mess 
and be too hot in this kitchen summertime meals i'm gonna go ahead and add some more water because i can already tell it's not gonna be enough let me cut that pan down for me real quick uh, um, I was gonna ask, is this like, is this gonna be overnight? No. Like, what are you doing right now? I'm just putting it in the pan. Um, we probably gonna put these. We probably gonna cook these for about two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Fine, how am I Not yet, y'all. See, look, they in here already trying to snoop and see how long it's gonna take to fix these pork chops. But yeah, that's say about two hours just to make sure they're nice and tender. Not yet, cake. Hold on. I did the applesauce. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more water to this. I'm just add a little water to it. And just add a little bit more. And then when you add a little bit more water to it, don't worry about it thinning your sauce out because the flour from your pork chops is going to help thicken that gravy back up. So it's okay. So that's looking good. I don't want to move it around too much just yet. I'm going to go ahead and just put the top on there. So first we're going to put it on a high boil just to bring this up to temperature for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to cut it down to a low, slow simmer for about an hour. And then we're going to check it and see how it look. So I'm checking the food now. It's 41 minutes left. And this is what the pork chops is looking like. It's getting nice and thick. And that gravy, do y'all see that? It's coming together really good. Just wanna show y'all the consistency of the gravy. You see it's nice and thick. And then you just wanna like, you know, smother it. And then that gravy that's right there on the side, you see that? And just, you know, just put it right on top. It smells amazing. And if you want to taste it, if you need to thin it out at this point, you can thin it out. Or if you want to keep it thick, just like that, it's up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on it. You know, check the tenderness of it. It's still not tender like how I want it. I like it in. We're just going to add a little bit of water to it just to thin it out. Depending on how thick or thin you want your gravy, just go ahead and thin it out. These pork chops still got a little ways to go. So I don't want it to get too thick. Just gonna stir that around a little bit. Okay, so I would go ahead and say that we didn't have these pork chops cooking for a good three hours. And on the last hour, we didn't have it on high. And we got two minutes left. Now when I say they are tender, do y'all see that? You can just like stick it through and it's not getting caught or nothing. Oh yes, okay. This is exactly what you want to see that gravy is still looking nice and thick i think i'm gonna go ahead and make the family some rice because i made the pasta on the side but they still screaming like did you make some rice and it's nothing like some rice and gravy so let me go ahead and do that real quick everybody is hungry i ain't gonna tell y'all it's one o'clock in the morning but it's okay you know the family is up we just watching movies so this is not a normal thing, but we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and fix everybody a plate. This was the pasta that we made, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show y'all the plate fix with the rice on it. I had made one of those suddenly pasta boxes. I've been seeing these everywhere, so I just decided to go ahead and try it. Daddy, food is ready. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and put y'all rice on first. Looking good water is in here stalking this pot and daddy in london is too oh yeah like i told him it was one o'clock in the morning but oh hey. yeah it's, it's <laughs> one o'clock but you know hey the, the kids out of school and they operating on no time schedule and i ain't rushing in the kitchen and like to get this dinner done they ate sandwiches earlier so they good and i'm gonna let him go ahead and uh pick his pieces because and that way he can show y'all how tender that meat really is. Yeah, still some of that gravy. Mm-hmm. Look, daddy end up taking all the dang on gravy, y'all. On one dish. But I, I ain't gonna do that tonight. <laughs> Look, I told him they not gonna need no knife with this pork chop. Oh, no. You probably eat this with a spoon. Mm-hmm. I want you to show him how tender it is. And then make sure he get his <laughs> vegetables. Oh, yeah. I gotta get my vegetables. I need a spoon. This looks stupid tender, y'all. Mm. 
Oh, he gonna go in with his fingers. Y'all ain't seen them leather hands in a while. Gotta use my leathery man mm. hand straight out the pot. It is burning hot. Mm. He just be smacking in the camera. Mm, 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 mm. Soak up some of that rice and gravy. Delicious, y'all. Delicious. You know, you gotta get that old one biter. How does it taste? Delicioso. Is it salty? Is it good? Is it flavorful? What, does it need anything? No, it doesn't need anything. Is it nice and tender for you? Yes, indeed. Mm. All right, today to go ahead and close this video out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll catch y'all on the next one.